In this tutorial, I will show you how to add your own custom icons to be used in the tab bar and in the more screen. I have another video explaining how to set up the tab bar and more screen and how to assign icons to the menus from our included icon pack. Make sure to check out that video before watching this one. In this video, we will go a step further and upload our own custom icons. And I'll show you the different options we have to make sure your icons match the existing app style. Now let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss app branding tab bar. And if I scroll down here, we can see our device preview on the right, showing us an approximation of what these menus and their icons will look like in a real device. Let's start by editing this home icon. So I can click here to select an icon. I could select from any of these included icons. And if I want to upload my own icon, I can click on this upload tab. So let's click here to upload an icon. I'm going to use our Buddy Boss logo and I'll set this as the home tab. It's important for your icon that the background layer be transparent so that the tab bar background color can show through. And then I can crop it and I'll click done. We can see that my icon has been uploaded and is available for us to use. And if at any time I don't want this icon anymore, I can always click here to remove this icon. You may also notice this color fill option. I'll come back to it later in this video. So let's go ahead and click use this icon. And we can see that the icon has been set as my home tab, which is looking great. If you find the icon is too small or too large relative to the icons next to it, just delete it and re-upload the image and adjust the cropping until it fits correctly. Let's go ahead and click on update. In this example, I've added a colorful icon, which can be useful for some types of apps. If your app is really colorful, for example, a children's app, you may want to add your own custom colored icons and use them in all of the tabs and menus. But for many of you, the more likely scenario is that you're going to use our included icons and you just want to add a few additional icons in a way that fits in nicely with the rest of the app. So let me show you how to do that. Let's switch over to the more screen. Let's try switching this notifications icon to the colorful buddy boss icon that we just uploaded. I'll scroll down and select that icon. As you can see, this does not fit in very nicely with the rest of the icons. What we really want is an outlined icon that we can apply a color to just like these other icons. So first let's go find an icon. You will want to find an icon that is using this outline style. The icon can be an SVG, PNG, or JPEG format. I'll just go to feathericons.com, which is an open source icon pack, and we'll download an icon from here. Let's go ahead and download this box icon. And then we'll go back into our icon picker and we'll upload the icon. And we'll come back to upload and we will select our newly downloaded icon. I can crop it a bit and I'll click done. And then let's click use this icon. So now we have an outlined icon, but still it doesn't yet match the style of these other icons. I'll open it back up and we'll click to use the color fill. So we can see what's happening here. It's taking the opaque layer of the icon and filling that with white. And then it's taking the transparent background layer of the icon and filling it with our selected custom color. I can click here to change the color. And let's click use this icon. And now we can see that this icon fits in perfectly with all the other icons and it looks really great. Let's scroll down and switch our icon style to outlined. And we'll scroll back up. And we can see that in the outline style, our icon still matches all the others. When the icons are set to the outline style, the opaque areas of our custom icon get filled in with our custom color and the transparent background remains transparent. It's basically the opposite of the box style. I'm going to switch it back to the box style and then let's click update. If you are designing your own custom icons from scratch and you want to use our colorful option, just make sure the icon is fully opaque with a transparent background. Let me give you one more example. Let's change the icon for this messages menu. We'll come back to upload. And I'm going to upload this colored icon, which is a PNG image type. And we'll crop it. 
You'll notice this icon has multiple colors. If I click use this icon, these colors will all display. If I come back here and select color fill, and you can see that all the colored parts of the icon were filled uniformly with white. And the transparent background layer is filled with our selected custom color. This shows you that all that matters for the color fill option to work properly is that the icon have an opaque layer and a transparent layer. If I switch back to our Buddy Boss icon, you can see that the entire circle is being filled with white. This is because both the white BB text and the orange circle in the logo are both opaque, while the background is transparent. If I wanted to use this icon with the color fill, I would need to recreate it with the BB text in the middle set to transparent instead of white. If I did that, then this BB text would get filled in with blue as it would be part of the transparent background layer. Okay, let's switch back to this other icon and I'll click on use this icon. And this one fits in nicely also. And I'll click on update. And now let's go see how these icons look in our actual app. First, let's hard quit the app. And now we can see our colorful Buddy Boss logo here in the tab bar. Let's tap to go to the more screen. And we can see our custom notifications and messages icons are both looking awesome. As you can see, we've put a lot of thought into this. We want it to be super simple for you to add your own unique icons and to upload icons you find from other icon sets with minimal effort to get all of the icons to match the rest of the app. And we can't wait to see how you customize the icons in your very own Buddy Boss app.